Mr. Walker? I am extraordinarily busy, sir. I just wanted to ask about the chocolate. Uh, the lifetime supply of chocolate for Charlie. Well, when does he get it? He doesn't. Why not? Because he broke the rules. What rules? We didn't see any rules, did we, Charlie? Wrong, sir. Wrong. Under Section 37B of the contract signed by him, it states quite clearly that all offers shall become null and void if, and you can read it for yourself in this photostatic copy, I, the undersigned, shall forfeit all rights, privileges, and licenses, hearing and hearing contained, etc., etc., fax mentis incendium gloria calcum, etc., etc., memo bis punitor delicatum. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. You bumped into the ceiling, which now has to be washed and sterilized, so you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. You're a crook. You're a cheat and a swindler. That's what you are. How can you do a thing like this? Build up a little boy's hopes and then smash all his dreams to pieces. You're an inhuman monster! I said good day! Come on, Charlie. Let's get out of here. I'll get even with him if it's the last thing I ever do. Slugworth wants a gobstopper, he'll get one. You won! You did it! You did it! I knew you would! I just knew you would! Oh, Charlie. Forgive me for putting you through this. Please, forgive me. Come in, Mr. Wilkinson. Charlie, meet Mr. Wilkinson. Pleasure. Slugworth. No, no, that's not Slugworth. He works for me. For you? I had to test you, Charlie. And you passed the test. You won!